folks. We're going to do 332 pounds for a 10 second pause in the hole. Um, at least 10 second. And this is the last squat single that I'm doing today. And then I'm doing my deadlift single and then I'm going into my repetition of work and accessories. Which I can't wait to do because, you know, the singles are kind of the most boring part of this phase that I'm doing. But I feel that with lower body training when it comes to strength orientated goals, you do get a lot out of doing a lot of working singles. Um, there's a lot of benefits that you get, especially these pause squats. Like, one of my main goals to get the 405 for two seconds. When I'm doing, you know, some of these other singles ranging for longer seconds in the hole and stuff like that, that all adds up. So, it seems to be a good strategic way of programming. Plus, you're getting under the bar and getting, you know, working singles done each session, which is very specific towards that end goal. Now, I feel that with lower body training, that's very feasible. However, for, if I were to go and do that, apply that same principle to something like the bench press, I don't think I'd get that much out of it. Just because I don't get a whole lot of grinding on the bench press, I get a lot more out of doing a lot of high volume work. So, I'm gonna get ready here.
nine seconds in the hole, peeps. I hate these, but these are what's making me stronger. I know that we're fun about. every time, but I think that having a grinder rep like that's helped me out because I'm knowing how to fight out of the bottom. Whew. 